Now, Sandy and his man is grateful to be alive, and he is thanking the first responders who came to his aid one week ago. KCOY 12's Dave Alley is live in San Inez to tell us about the happy ending to a life-threatening medical emergency. Now, Scott and Melissa, it's not often that you get a second chance in life when you look death straight in the eye, but that's exactly what it ha has happened to a resident here in San Inez, due in large part to some great fortune and the quick actions of some emergency responders he wants to thank. Last Wednesday was a day Gino Philippine will never forget. I wasn't feeling well. I went out in the backyard to get a fresh uh, a breath of fresh air and started feeling very nauseous. For some reason, I just knew I was going to black out. The 61-year-old civil engineer suffered a heart attack, one that doctors later said gave him only an 8% chance to survive. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> sort of think I was dead. As good fortune would have it, just two weeks earlier, Gino's wife, Janine, had just taken a refresher course in CPR, which she performed right here for several minutes until first responders arrived. As soon as I saw that he was down, it was as if my instructor's voice just went through my head because it was certainly not my doing. <laughs> it was like I heard every word she had to say, and all of a sudden it all made sense. Soon, sheriff deputies arrived, then firefighters, then paramedics, all working furiously to save his life working on me for quite a while uh, to get me revived, and they uh, finally did after about a half an hour. Philippine was later taken to the hospital and later released within 48 hours. Weren't as blessed, you know, as I was that day to have all of the right people at the right time, at the right sequence, you know, uh, there to help me. The Philippines are grateful for the responders who not only saved Gino's life, but for also giving the entire family a new outlook on their lives. Tremendously relieved and relieved and thankful that there's another chance to be kinder to him and better wife and the things that you don't think about. And Philippine tells me that his prognosis is very good. He suffered no permanent damage to his heart or his brain. He'll have to alter his diet and his lifestyle, but otherwise he should be able to make a full recovery. Reporting live in the San Inez Valley, Dave Valley, KCOY 12, Central Coast News. Dave, thank you. So happy to hear he's going to make a good recovery. And, of course, those first responders doing a great job as always. Yeah.